Well, I want to thank everyone for being here today. It is so nice to be out announcing something positive, uh, not holding a media event to tell everyone in town what you can't do. So uh, uh, this is exciting. You know, when I, I started as mayor, uh, our team recognized that we wanted to make Tulsa uh, a globally competitive, world-class city. And the way that you do that, as we define it, is that you have to be a safe city. You have to be a city where this generation is defining the city that they want to leave to the next. And the third key element of that is that it, Tulsa has to be a city of opportunity for everyone. Uh, and one of the key areas that we recognize that we could do a better job in the city government is analyzing uh, to make sure that we were providing equal pay for equal work regardless of gender. And we did an internal audit of our team, our 4,000 employees at the city of Tulsa, and to our surprise, we found that that was not the case in a lot of jobs. Not through some long-term uh, you know, plan or plot by the city government, but it was simply... Accidents made along the way, misevaluations made along the way over time. And so we spent, uh, the council and I appropriated about half a million dollars to fix that uh, within our team. And we recognized that the way to make sure that that would not happen again is to do it on an ongoing annual basis. And so we do that now every year. We evaluate uh, our employees at the city of Tulsa to make sure that people are getting paid equally for the work that's done regardless of their gender. Well, we have a truly superb group of citizen leaders on the Mayor's Commission on the Status of Women. And we talked with them about this approach we were taking at the city, and they made a great point. They said that that should not end with the city government. That should be something that we challenge every organization, every employer in town, to do the same. And through a lot of work, a lot of analysis on best practices around the country, the Mayor's Commission on the Status of Women worked uh, with my office and in particular with my tireless Deputy Mayor, Amy Brown, to develop the Mayor's Pay Equity Pledge. And it's very simple. It is a pledge that any employer in town can sign. And by doing so, you're agreeing to do three things. First, Ban questions about previous salary history to candidates for hire and promotion. This is crucial because if you have somebody that's worked previously at a place where there was imbalance and you're going to base their salary off what they made before, you may just be continuing a mistake. Also, studies show that those types of questions a lot of the time adversely impact women applicants. And so now at the city of Tulsa uh, and any other employer that does this, those are not part of establishing someone's salary. The work that they do is what establishes their salary. Second, commit to ongoing diversity, equity, and inclusion training for employees responsible for recruiting, hiring, onboarding, and promoting. It is so important that the team that's responsible for hiring people and managing their promotion is trained to identify when they might be making these types of completely innocent mistakes that we found we'd been making at the city of Tulsa as well. Uh, and so that type of training is very important. And third, review employee pay to ensure compliance with the Equal Pay Act. Again, this is something that you should already be doing because it's the law, but this is a requirement that anybody that signs this is going to regularly review the, the pay for their employees to make sure that there's equal pay for equal work. Well, I'm so thankful that when the Mayor's Commission on the Status of Women brought forward this proposal, that there were so many companies and organizations in town who wanted to join us as being the inaugural partners to announce that they have also signed this pledge. Uh, and, and I want to uh, really quickly name them because they are truly leaders in making this a city of opportunity for everyone. Uh, Arvest Bank, Bank of Oklahoma, Hilti, the Lobeck Taylor Family Foundation, Matrix Service Company, Public Service Company of Oklahoma. I know 
Peggy Simmons, their president, is here. Uh, Schnocky Turnbow Frank, uh, Seltzer Schaefer Architects, and I know uh, Whitney Stuffer is here as well. Um, TTCU, Tulsa County, uh, Commissioner Karen Keith was a great help on that front. Tulsa International Airport, and the Tulsa Regional Chamber, represented here today by Justin McLaughlin. This, we hope, is just the very beginning of a tidal wave of organizations and great employers here in Tulsa saying that they too want to do what they can do to make their organizations a place of equal pay for equal work. And so uh, first, even though we're doing this, we're committed to this, uh, I'm going to sign the pledge. Uh, make sure you get my bald spot on this. It'll be great. <laughs> That easy. That's all it takes to, to sign this pledge and make this commitment to making this the kind of city that we want it to be for all Tulsans. And now it, it's a great honor for me to introduce a real driver behind this, a great mentor to me, the uh, vice chair of the Mayor's Commission on the Status of Women, Dr. Meg Morgan. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Bynum. Every woman who sits on the Mayor's Commission on the Status of Women came to the table with their own specific goal to help lift women in our community. And we all work together to address the various disparities for women in Tulsa. When I joined the Commission three years ago, I personally had a goal of working toward pay equity in our city. My work as a faculty member at the University of Oklahoma has been about gender disparity in the workplace. And now while the gender pay gap is a very layered and complicated issue, one especially problematic practice employers do, as G.T. Bynum mentioned, is asking women for their salary history. Beyond that, we know that certain biases may lead to different practices when writing job ads, reviewing resumes, or interviewing candidates for jobs. And the research shows less than half of women negotiate for their salary. This knowledge gave our commission a starting point to think about how the city of Tulsa could do its part to help everyone close the gap. So I, along with Commission Chair Deidre Kirtley, the Employment Committee Chair Mary Quinn Cooper, Amy, Bi Amy Brown, and Susan Bynum worked closely with Mayor Bynum to develop this three-pronged pledge. Signing the Pay Equity Pledge is one step to ensuring women are paid equitably, which we know leads to increased efficiency, creativity, and productivity for organizations by helping them attract and retain the best talent. The Mayor's Commission on the Status of Women truly appreciates the Mayor's support and any business who takes this pledge for a monumental step in the right direction. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Morgan. Uh, now I would like to introduce someone who's been another great influence, I think, in our business community on this front. Uh, many of us had an opportunity last year uh, to participate in a retreat that Hilti organized and hosted uh, to talk about how we can address in issues of gender disparity here in our city and make Tulsa a, a better corporate community for both men and women. And so now it's an honor for me to introduce the man who pulled all that together and has been such a great leader on this front, Carl Neumeyer with Hilti. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, as you heard, uh, my name is Carl Neumeyer and I'm the uh, Chief Operating Officer for Hilti North America. And I work here in Tulsa, Oklahoma with about 500 of my colleagues, uh, unfortunately not in the office. We're all still remote like a lot of other companies. As you heard the mayor say in December of 2019, we had a group of business leaders and community leaders come together at our campus as part of something called Men Advocating Real Change. To understand a little bit of the background of why that's important for Hilti, we believe in our core purpose that we are all about building a better future. That is in our purpose, core purpose statement as a company globally. Every culture, no matter where you are in the world, has that in their own local language. So it, it was with great pleasure that today we're able to lend our voice of support to this recently announced pay equity pledge. This pledge is part of our ongoing commitment to create equitable communities and equitable opportunities for all 
of our citizens and our community, especially right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is just a part of Hilti's ongoing commitment to this effort. We are also a part of the Corporate Equity Index, which we recently scored a 100. I got to put a little plug in there for us. We were very happy about that. We also, uh, our current CEO and our former CEO, uh, joined the Catalyst organization as a CEO Catalyst for Change. And now we have this pay equity pledge that we're part of. We want the outcomes to be better for everybody, including our communities, because if we have a stronger community and more equitable communities, it creates a better environment for all of us in the business community, com community when it comes to recruiting, developing, and promoting women and other communities that we need to take care of right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Our journey officially started in 2014 is part of our journey of what we call Champion 2020, where we put a cornerstone around building a broader global community uh, for all of our leadership, especially with an emphasis on women. In addition to eliminating questions about previous salary history, we can ensure that all of our employees receive equal pay for equal work, and we can ensure that we're providing all team members the best opportunity that they can by providing implicit bias training to all of them on a regular, ongoing basis, because implicit bias is exactly that. It's implicit, and you need to take time to make sure you're always working to identify it and be aware of it. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor, and thank you very much for the commission putting this together. We're very happy to be a part of it. Thank you. Well, I see so many people here today who helped make this happen. Uh, I'm very thankful uh, for Mary Quinn Cooper, who brought so much of her legal expertise to the development of this pledge. Uh, Crystal Reyes, our Chief Resilience Officer at the City of Tulsa. Um, my wife, Susan Bynum, who hates it when I recognize her at public events, but this has been a real passion project for her as well. Uh, and, and all the, mayor, the Mayor's Commission on the Status of Women members who have worked so hard over the last year and a half, two years really, in developing this and getting us to this point. Uh, and again, for any company or any organization that hears about this today, that wants to join this coalition, that wants to make Tulsa the best city it can be, then please join us in signing this pledge. It'll be available online. You can get it very easily and you just send it to us and we'll make sure that you're listed as a member of this growing coalition as well. Uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions. Well, I mean, what was very exciting is I sent this pledge just to the people that attended the retreat that Hilti was kind enough to host for us, and almost every single one of them, with short notice, replied and committed to it. And so today, as we make it public uh, that more organizations in town hear about it, we're very eager for them to, to, to sign up. And then this is also something, uh, we, we've developed this graphic uh, and recognition because we want employers to display this logo on their website so that when people are looking at whether or not they want to go work at a company, they can know on the front end that this is a company that's committed to pay equity. Uh, I think that's very important for employers of choice in our community. And, and again, my hope is that we get a, a, a strong response. And I know the Tulsa Chamber is always very helpful in spreading the word amongst their members uh, to get support for things like this. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Thank you all very much.